My name is Michael White, and I'm the audio visual librarian at the Glenview Public Library. And I love creating this type of programming that connects our patrons around music um, and a variety of musical experiences. So welcome and thank you for joining us despite the technical difficulties for tonight's program, Music Room, Mike Weiss and PM Tumala Duo. So just a quick piece of housekeeping. I wanna be respectful of everyone's time tonight. Um, before we start, we are in webinar, webinar mode. Um, so your cameras and mics are off. You can see me, um, but we can't see you um, or hear you. Uh, if you have any questions for us, you can put those in the chat. So we allotted time at the end for some Q&A. Um, Mike has uh, offered to stick around for a little bit. Again, I wanna be respectful of your time. So uh, if you don't have time for that, I'm sorry. We are gonna be recording the event and we will share that out. Um, I'll send out emails tomorrow to everyone uh, who registered, everyone who's here tonight and everyone who maybe couldn't make it because of the technical difficulties. So um, we'll get that sorted out. So if you have any questions for Mike, you can put those into the chat uh, during the performance and, and we'll have a little uh, debrief afterwards. Um, I do wanna let you know that actually, thankfully, um, tonight's performance was pre-recorded. Um, it was intended to be live for you tonight, but we had a couple issues with logistics working this out over the past couple months. So we recorded it. It was recorded here in Chicago, live improv. Uh, and, and I've got this video that I can share with you. So I'd like to introduce our performers tonight. Um, PM Tumala is a Chicago-based musician whose solo work is focused on creating an imaginary oral companion to Indian modernism and Indo-futurism. His sound pieces begin as sketches of hazy memories in the Hindustani, Carnatic, and Hollywood Bollywood music that played in the background of his childhood, utilizing instrumentation that can include synthesizers and tape, vibraphone, harmonium, electric piano, percussion, computer, and sampler. He reimagines these sounds through a blurred lens of Western musical influence, influences like music concrete, spiritual jazz, dub, ambient, and hip hop vinyl culture. His second solo album will be released later this year on the Monastro label. And uh, he has recently produced albums by Chloe Yu Nang Lin and Alan Moore. Mike Weiss is an American artist currently living in Kalamazoo, Michigan. He's a photographer, a percussionist, and a sound artist. Since 2000, Weiss's creative emphasis has been in the field of experimental music and sound. As a founding member and drummer of the avant rock band Zillin Opal, Weiss has continuously pushed outward and challenged boundaries between the avant garde and pop with Zillin Opal and his various side projects. Recently, he has been more um, tuned into doing some solo releasing, solo format under his own name with conceptual based projects that blur the lines between ritual practice and art. So without further ado, um, let's get started.
Wow, that was amazing. Thank you, Mike and Pramat. There you are. Hey, Mike. Wow, what it was an honor. Sorry about the technical difficulties. It's in my nature to apologize. So I'm gonna to apologize to the audience again one more time, but yeah, that was amazing. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you. Thanks, yeah. Mike. Thanks for sharing your, uh, your music with us tonight. Um, so, I, you know, I, I, I had a, um, a question. We talked a little bit um, in, in the intro, you know, I talked about you guys focusing on your, your solo endeavors, your solo uh, music. So what, what is it like, um, and you and Pramod hadn't uh, played as a duo before, how does um, collaborating then sort of inform and expand your own um, sort of approach to music or whatever? Um, well, it, it's kind of funny that Pramod and I haven't really formally performed uh, a concert together as a duo, but because we've <laughs> we've kind of been um, in in various projects and playing music um, around each other for like twenty three years or something like that. Uh, wow. Yeah, um, but. <sighs> And and we share the same. Um, we we have a lot of a lot of uh, things in common uh, as far as the kind of music we like. And he is also he also runs a record record label that I help him out with. And so we're always we're always collaborating that way. But it just seemed odd that we hadn't actually um, made music together. We've done a little bit here and there, but nothing like like this where we put a lot of effort into it. Right. And, so with that in mind, it, I, I think it's because since we're, we've been such good friends have been working together for so long that uh, it was very natural for us to play together. Um, and I really like uh, like a, a duo combo like that. Um, that always seems to be some of the most comfortable um, situations that I've been in when it comes to improvisation. Uh, improvisation, it seems the more the more elements you add, the the easier it can go off the rails. Yeah. Um, and duos, for some reason, it's just a, it's easier to uh, listen and respond and um, kind of interconnect in that way. Uh, and I've always just absolutely loved playing duos. I played with uh, Scott Tuma for the longest time. He's the one who got me into playing um, improvisational music, and and uh, he kept pushing me to to try harder. Um, and uh, so I think maybe that's how that that's why the duo thing is uh, so easy for me to to fall into, and and also with Pramod just listens really well. Yeah. Well, well, if that's any indication, I think you guys need to do some more collaborations together. Then, so I just put the link to the the Monastrel, right? Am I saying that right? <laughs> You'd have to ask Pramod. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know how to pronounce my own band name, and we've yeah, had well, two, three years. <laughs> <laughs> he told me in an email it's a play on Monaural, so I think it's Monastral. Okay. Um, I put a link to the band cap there um, for everyone if you want to check out some of that music. Um, so that that's the label that you're talking about that you guys. Yeah, are he's got on. some really great stuff coming up. Um, yeah, and and uh, he just released by uh, yeah. Chloe and Alan Moore. So, and hopefully this will probably see the light of day. Actually, uh, when we got together to record this performance, he and I did tons of recording as well. So that duo will definitely be will will become a, a recording uh, album of some sort. Um, hopefully within a, a year or so. Great, great. I'm looking to take a look and see. Oh, yeah. um, if there's anything in the chat here for us. Um, yeah, so we are gonna make the tonight's video. I'll email this out to all the registrants. Um, your, your, uh, Mike and Pramod have given us permission to share this widely. So we're gonna post it on our, the library's YouTube page. I can include a link to that and, and you'll get a recording uh, of the event tonight. So. Um... <laughs> I see that from Sunita. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> totally. You know, uh, we did had a ter we didn't really know uh, what to do when it came to um, 
doing some the video work and it didn't turn out so well so we even just whacked it out of uh <laughs> <laughs> out of you even more yeah. uh, make it look like that was intentional <laughs> it worked it worked for me i mean i i fell for it so yeah yeah i i kind of liked the single angle approach it was fine it worked for me yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, sunita likes to complain <laughs> you know that about him yeah yeah <laughs> um so yeah i don't um Besides your, uh, you know, I just wanted to, you know, to, to talk about that. And you kind of talked about it, the, the nature of the, the collaboration and how you guys have, have worked together um, in different contexts for so long. So um, anybody, I'm just looking. What, do you see that, Mike? What, what uh, current music do you find inspiring? Oh, you know, it's funny that you mentioned that, Justin, because um, I've been such a, a music nerd for so long and constantly listening and searching new music. But oddly enough, since the pandemic began, I find that I, I, I'm going back to like what I first, uh, the music I first got into that really got me obsessed with music. And I can't seem to shake it. So, um, the most uh, heavy rotation uh, on, on my uh, headphones these days is like new wave music, like um, Depeche Mode and New Order and The Cure and um, all of that stuff. I feel like, it's funny, I talked to another friend of mine and he seemed to think that he was going through this nostalgia phase as well and thought it had something to do with um, with quarantine. And I'm not entirely sure that's correct, but I, I find that I'm doing the exact same thing and it's strange. And some people send me new music and I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think I just want to listen to music for the masses again. <laughs> <laughs> going back to that familiar stuff and going back to that stuff that was foundational and comforting probably to us maybe in a way. Yeah, maybe so. It's funny. Who knows what this is doing to our brains, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It holds up, you know. I mean, I we can certainly listen to that stuff that was formative for us, and you know, a lot of it really um, is powerful and still holds up. And and I so I think that's great. You know, I think we would be able to tell, you know, if we listen to that formative stuff and it it didn't kind of hold water anymore. It would probably right not have that that impact on us still, so. I'll tell you one thing that doesn't hold up is Gene Loves Jezebel. Man, those albums are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first concert I saw. Okay. And I went back and listened to it and like, there's, they got that one good song. <laughs> yeah, there's only, there's only one song that I ever knew of, I think. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> um, so yeah, okay, I'm looking in the chat. Yeah, me too. Um, some, uh, some, just some, you know, it was beautiful. It was really beautiful. Um, oh, Allison said something about how does the collaboration inform your solo work? Yeah, I think that's what I tried to ask. Yeah, yeah. Question, but I'm not sure I really <sighs> asked it well. Uh, it's funny when I uh, when I start playing, uh, I was I was doing a lot of solo stuff, and I kind of got in into a rut where I, you, you kind of fall back on your old habits, you know, your old things that you keep doing over and over again. And um, because again, once again, because of the quarantine, I haven't been playing with anyone else. And this is probably the longest stretch for that's happened to me ever since I started picking up drumsticks in high school that I haven't played with someone for so long. And, um, and when I started, when I went over to Pramod's and started working on this stuff, and he's got all sorts of amazing instruments and objects laying around. I started trying new things, and and boom, I just had so much, uh, so many more, so much more in inspiration to to get outside of that those old habits, and and it made me um, kind of open up to uh, other possibilities. So playing with other people, I, I definitely missed that, and I didn't realize how much I did until I started playing with Pramod, and you get that rush. And then also we've been recording and we listen to playback and I'm like that playback uh, experience is still really magical. And you hear that on the monitor speakers and like, whoa, that's us. Yeah. Kind of sounded like crap when we were doing it, but that's pretty <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> so, um, 
Yeah, that I mean that makes total sense. And, and so you you had a you had a move too, right? In the pan over the course of the pandemic, did you move during the pandemic? Or oh yeah, yeah, yeah. everything turned upside down during this. Uh, yeah, I moved from oh. Chicago. Uh, living there since 1995, I moved to Chicago to play music. So it seems weird to to leave. I moved to Kalamazoo, Michigan, uh, in August, and. Um, you know, in a lot of ways, everything is locked down. No, I'm, I don't feel like I'm missing out on music, although I'm sure that will change. Yeah. But we've got a lot of stuff lined up with uh, recording. Um, I'll be going back to Chicago frequently doing some some studio recordings. And hopefully once uh, live shows start happening again, which I hope that happens soon because I really, really miss it. I have a feeling people are going to be so eager to hear music. At least I know I am. Yeah. I, I miss like, you know, just getting uh, that um, craving to hear some live jazz and I could just wander down to, you know, the empty bottle on a Tuesday night where well, it used to be that way. I don't think they did that anymore. And, but you know what I mean? It's just yeah, to sure. have that availability. And, and again, this has been the longest I haven't, you know, seen live music since I was in high school, probably junior high. You know, for yeah, that. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> well, thank you. I want. I do want to be because we got a late start. Um, I'm going to apologize one more time if you're still hanging out with us, and um, I want to be respectful of people's time because we're we're probably a little bit past um, what people expected when they carved out the time for the to join us. So it's an honor for me. Uh, to be able to host you guys here tonight um, at the library to provide an opportunity to bring this music um, to a library audience and and your own audience that I think you brought uh, to tonight's event. So um, really appreciate it. And um, you know I'll be sending out an email to all the attendees and and registrants who are some folks who maybe couldn't be here tonight. Um, so thank you so much. Great, thank you, Michael. Yeah, it's my pleasure. It's really my pleasure. So thank you everyone for coming tonight um, again. And uh, we'll have some more musical programming coming up in the future. Um, so uh, stay tuned to the library's Facebook page and webpage. And um, I'm hoping, uh, great, it was worth the wait. Thank you all very much. <laughs> Thanks, Sans. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Thank all you, right. everyone. Take have a good care. day, everybody. All right, bye-bye. Good night.